Hello, my name is Marcus and uh, today I am going to show you how to render objects in wireframe mode. Okay, to begin with you have to have an object of course to render and then open the material editor and uh, assign a an, an click on an empty material slot and drag and drop it onto the object. Uh, there is an option here and uh, press wire and now you can see uh, that uh, wire the object becomes wired so if you render this but as you can see also the alpha channel is only the wires so if we change the background color to uh, for example press 8 to get up the environment by the way and change the color to red for example we render it that it's hard to see and uh, uh, I prefer when I render w in wireframe to have the object in a solid color and uh, the wires black but on top of the solid object so to do that you can uh, uh, or I do like this I first of all assign a new empty material to the object and then press ctrl V to clone the object and uh, now we have two identical sphere spheres here so and then uh, press and no then add the add a push modifier and increase the push value to 0 0.01 and then again add the wireframe material and uh, if uh, you can if I change the color here to black you can see that the wireframe is now on top of a solid object so this is uh, what it will look like and the alpha channel is uh, completely filled in and uh, to uh, take and try this on a little more complex object than this sphere I am going to unhide a toy gun that I modeled uh, some time ago and uh, to render this gun in a wireframe mode just do the same steps select all the objects open the material editor add a, an empty material to uh, the gun uh, you can uh, change uh, you can for example add some uh, make the color a little brighter add some specularity and uh, you can uh, yeah y you can do whatever you want and uh, then uh, clone every object select all of them first then uh, hold control and press V and make sure copy is selected and press OK then add a push modifier increase the push value and then add the wireframe material now if I uh, test render this you can see that uh, the uh, all of the uh, wires wire the wireframe is uh, looking pretty good and uh, maybe you don't want to have uh, s this many wireframes so you can uh, go to the turbo smooth modifier and uh, tick ice line display and that means that didn't do much of a difference so I'll just undo that but uh, I can show you what uh, ice line display does so if I just create a sphere and add a or first reduce the segments pretty much then add a turbo smooth modifier and increase the iterations then you can see here if I tick ice line display it keeps the the edges that uh, was on the object from the beginning but uh, makes them smooth without showing all the new faces that uh, has been created and uh, it saves uh, a lot of uh, memory when you're working not needing to show them the uh, maybe not a lot of memory but some memory when the program doesn't need to 
show uh, all of these faces it can just show this uh, these few lines and uh, yeah this was uh, the end of this short tutorial and uh, just for the sake of the tutorial let's do the same thing but maybe keep that blue so press ctrl v copy add the push modifier make it bigger and add that material as well now you can see you can uh, do whatever you want thanks for watching my name is marcus hope you liked my tutorial